Hmm. Hmm. That's gorgeous. Hello, low brass. Okay, before we get to that, that's amazing. We got to go back to the beginning because there's like this really prominent dissonance between string bass and percussion, and it sets this big ostinato, this big, the drone or repeated rhythm that's driving this. What is that? Feels like, uh, I guess it's probably timpani with a lot of reverb on it, but it feels like it's very, very far away. But it, it hits perfectly with the string bass, though. It's nice, and it just creates this like foundation layer for all that stuff to exist on top of it. You can just hear the dip a little bit in the pitch there. It's nice. It's kind of a scary melody, kind of haunting a little bit. I didn't catch the flat five the first time, but uh, in the string section, they come out of that tritone there. Go back five for that. That that barely that was barely audible to me. That's that's really fun. I love it. Oh my god! Almost like Lord of the Rings sounding. Ooh. Okay. Mm. That chord progression at the end and the voice leading how the 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 brass is filling out there is very, also sounds like brass mix mixed with vocals though that was real good. Uh, I kind of tripped out there for a second with the uh, the field drum that came in the concert snare drum. I thought for a second it was a Scottish snare drum snare head, but it, I don't think it is. I think we're in a traditional symphonic setting here. But the string section, boom, 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 just latching onto that driving, we get such it's just forward motion. It's like a semi truck going down. We'll go back. Uh, 20 seconds because I want to hear how the string pushes and then how that chord progression weaves again and the chords I mean, these are all professional uh, I would assume for this level of production These are professional recordings and not on a DAW But it's nice to hear adults play adult chords in tune because like these groups are so freaking good, man When you uh, have sat in front of younger groups for years and years and years You just appreciate intonation when it's flawless with professional players Oh, sorry to stop again, but I didn't I didn't grab the uh the like um tom percussion that's going on around that snare drum part. That's really cool. It's uh it, it kind of feels combative a little bit there. That's oh, sorry I went back ten. It's it's worth checking out. There. It's like subtle, but it adds. Okay. Huh. All right. Mm. Well, like a little bit of a little bit of vibrato we got from the solo trumpet line there. That was really nice. Uh we got some more flat fives coming in, obviously. The groove, we were really getting this backbeat now as the driving force. So we kind of, we, I mean, we got that a little bit in the beginning, even with the dissonance of the uh, the string bass and the timpani part, but it's so much more predominant now. And now we have uh, featured players with, uh, I was like, it almost sounded like a blues lick at first, but we're just outlining minor scales. But still, great writing. Back five is here to you. <laughs> mm. 
So you can you kind of hear boom, boom, boom. We're moving through the chords. We're playing similar similar figures and basically arpeggios, outlining how the the notes are falling, ascending and descending. But you can see, you can feel where it pushes up and then resets back down. But uh, I don't know. It has that like Hollywood cinematic, big, dark, evil sounding vibe to it as well. So I've only other done sorry, I've only done one Destiny track, and it was completely the opposite of this. So this is a nice contrast to the previous one. And I got a lot, a lot of nice comments in the other video explaining what was going on in that part of the game. So maybe you could do the same in this part too, because I feel like this has a completely different meaning. Most likely. I don't know. You can tell me. That's a great range on that trumpet player. That's up in the stratosphere. The relationship between that and the string line in the middle section, that was real nice. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have stopped in the middle of that phrase, but it is what it is. Let's go back and appreciate that again, though, 5, 10, 15. Probably uh, 20 seconds here to get the uh, solo trumpet. Got 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 cool groove at the end there. Obviously, we're in a big slow three four, but the bell tones on those trombone lines, man, that's powerful. I need that again. I'm going back ten seconds. That the low end, the low end mid brass here is just kicking ass. It's great. <laughs> Okay, that section was amazing. We got full on groove. We got a backbeat groove and a very, very slow cinematic 3 4 going on. You got your voice coming in and they're dropping on the downbeat. But on, then on the end of two, we're having beats hit there as well. Sorry, not beats. This is the, the upside of the second beat. We have rhythms occurring that it, it doesn't quite flip it, but it just makes it feel a little bit, you know, a little bit syncopated. Really loving that. Going back 15 to grab that again. That is a lot of fun. Also, it's super loud. Like, the dynamics here are just gargantuan compared to how we started, which is nice. It's a variety. It's contrast is good. Do we change keys there? Do we push somewhere else? I got a little distracted by the crash. The crash cymbal sounded so good. One thing I will say that's nice about these headphones, these headphones do, bare dynamics do get pretty bright, but I'm able to hear a lot of cymbal stuff. So that's pretty cool. That I definitely did not get in the previous set. So uh, upgrades there, going back 10. Overall, it's all pretty loud though. So, I mean, we're hearing big, you know, climactic crescendos here and just impact points, but everything's pretty loud. <laughs>
that's a wall of sound, man. That we that really actually would probably be the impact point. I want to hear drum corps do this. I know I've been saying that in videos lately, but damn it, I want to hear it though. I want to hear like 110 horns blaring this at me, then with like the most complicated drumline parts possible, you know, to go along with that. Because obviously the the guy would get old real quick. But you know what I mean though. You know what I mean. Alright, we're gonna go back 10 seconds and let it play out here. <laughs> Bookends, returning to our opening uh, sequence here. A little variety in the vocal, though. I love the no resolution at the end. That is amazing. What a great piece. Make sure and let me know what's going on during this part of the game. Please and thank you in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure and catch me when I'm live on Twitch. We can talk about your favorite video game music. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord server. You should probably join that. If you like this video, please and thank you. Click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. If you want to support me, my Patreon information is down there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.